Yo, what's up, guys? We're back with another Red Dead video. And yeah, let's get started on this Molly mission, I guess. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything. So, Arthur. Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? What do you I bring want, a gift. Man? The great gift of information. So you got some tip up. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say yeah. so. You could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it as long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, oh, a medical you are condition. a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Man, <laughs> boy should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, right. it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Oh, we're all going? Okay. Come on then, you miserable bastards. We're coming. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. All right. Well, soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Okay. Whatever you say. There. You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just work. Let's get after them real quickly. Stop the wagon! I said stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try yeah, anything bro. stupid and we won't. What am I doing this right now? There we go. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. Exactly. That's why we're killing you here. <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too. Much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Let's see what's Hey, off box. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand. Perfect. Take that. Shit. Hey, think I say something. Uh, Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! Yeah! Go, 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 go. There's a whole lot of them back there. Can we kill them or no? Line of shot, boys! Get rid of these sons of bitches! Do not let them get away! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make this up.
Bro, I'm killing every single one. I'm killing every single one. I have no help. Nobody's helping me. I'm about to die. That's why I had to back off. That's my help. I'm about to die. What do you see? I didn't even kill. I killed already half of them. Bro, what do you think I'm doing? You think I'm just sitting here? Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men at camp. Honestly. Right. That would be the most stupidest thing we could have done. Let's, let's hide in here. Quick! No, ah! oh, my horse! Are you good, Horsey? Oh, that's full hell. Oh, it's done in the mission. Stay until dark, then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. Hmm. They never found us, did they? Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I hate it. Let's just keep this calm. Mm -hmm. See what happens. Yeah, what is going to happen after we rob them of a thousand dollars? What are they going to do? You just tell me, Papa, what you heard. What? Tell me what you heard. I don't... Heard about what? Some noises out by the barn a while uh... ago. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Go forth. Look. Go check out the, the barn. Sir. Yeah, come check out the barn. We have a little present waiting for you. Nothing too bad, just a little bit of a present. <laughs> Please come. Do I have a little bit of a surprise. Something called a bullet. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but you'll hear of it once it gets this right down your skull. Enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. You're done. You're actually done. Bro, don't come inside. Why did you listen to him? Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas. You won't make it out alive. How many me. are there? Crouch, crouch, crouch. More on the right. Bro, why do I miss every shot? They're coming around the back to you? Oh, no.
Saying, so that's just easy picking. How many ammo do I have? Send his entire army out there. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, quit with me. Yeah, we need somebody with um, uncle, bro. You could die. You could get singled out. Are you stupid? They're so bad. Oh my god. What happened to doing it quietly, Uncle? Come on now. Guess we should go give him a hand. Yeah. No. Really, right now? Of course. They're all done. You're all done. Get out They're of my face. Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was again. an honest hey, mistake. Hey, leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Okay, but at least we got some money. Total we'll take, gang share. What did I get? I got like hundred total dollars. Okay. Not bad. At all. Beggars like us. <laughs> is that what we are? Is it avenging your father's death after thirty years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Sorry, there, Dutch. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? 
Yep, what is going on? John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Okay, I got done with Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. I'll go join Hosea. Bye. Okay, Mr. Jose, where are you at? No, you're right here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Hey, Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Okay. I bet I have birds. Yeah, Thank I bet I We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look I into something to deal with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. <gasps> okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Do you know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So okay, what yeah. exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy. And a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Okay, time to sell for me, Sean. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we don't do no harm. She's at the house. Oh yeah, him with we'll be them? You. you heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. I've been proceeding. It's about like ten minutes late. Okay. Yeah, I guess you get the man of the house. The man of the house is a woman. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. But uh, maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, Dang. I ain't Can't here to rob you. Oh, well, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? Honestly. Pay the man. Let's go. Let's go. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. Oh, There's no. an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. 
All right. Perfect. Next stop, the road cylinder. More money. I'll take that. Here we go. I will take that. So yeah. I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Got him. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need some. I ain't playing dressing. Yeah. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring yeah, your in the Just a bit. Squint. <gasps> oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? No, oh, shh. You can't speak. I was playing off the clip, but. <laughs> and now we're putting dress up. I didn't want to. Oh, ma'am, he's hot. There, there. There, there. Don't get mad, huh? Get on my way. I don't want to hit you. Pull up. I pull up. We all of the moonshine, baby. Everything. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! There's so much of it. Gentlemen! Right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Hand out the liquor. Just hand it out. It's that simple, is it? Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Mel. That's my brother Fink. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes. The drinks in this here bar, in this I'm here free. town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them! So hurry up, put old Fenton to work! Don't get him mad, though! His mama made him mad, and we buried him. The whole thing! Ah. <laughs> now come up to the bar, everybody! Come on, fellas! I'll have more Fenton drinks! A bit! Bounty! Let's go, bro. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Open another bottle. Where's mine then? Now it's your opportunity to get in this truck. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's serve all the drinks up. Oh, 
the moonshine. I get there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the wife is going to kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. Get your free drinks from Peyton at the bar. Hasn't it been more than 30 minutes? Wasn't it daytime or something? Just keep them coming. <laughs> drink up, drink! Who is this? Good evening, uh, Chet. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest no, it's not. Get him. Oh, I'm a boat of the boat of the raiders. This one is not our thing. You think we want to find you? You're done. Can I? You're dead. One shot is. One shot is. One shot is. Come on, get up here. What is it? What is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, that was not, that was not, that was not, uh, that wasn't our boy? <laughs> Sorry if it's dirty so much. I thought that was our boy. How, I had to get up there that quickly that it was that important that he was about to die. Oh my. My bad, my bad. I did. I just three it my name, but now it's just like 19. You're done. Ooh. You're done. Oh, that was cool. Way. We oh. 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 oh, you're done. Let's go. Think you can steal from us? What the frick? Come in. I'm not venting. You can call me Arthur now. Go, 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 go. Out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? I have infinite ammo? Oh, I do. I have infinite ammo. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So bad. My aim's so bad. My aim's so bad. My aim's so bad.
Do we still have some moonshine? Jesus, oh, it's over a few bottles of booze. Well, I reckon it's more that they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. <laughs> Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe. This place yeah. is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now... Let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. But. That was fun, Fenton. I'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Aw, oh, who's there, man? So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this <sighs> stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the yeah. other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Oh, what? You sure? Why not? Because what? we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, sure. Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Yeah. Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. We gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them. Yo, that's Jesus. Before that's they Jesus. figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for money. Way back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Come I used to on. Fall for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna end out the video here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and hit that sub button if you would like. And see you all in the next one. Peace.